So we need to give them something to do here. Uh, Broxa, should we talk about that? that last game that we witnessed on one of the shortest days I think I've ever witnessed on the LEC. It was quite the one side of the fair. Yeah, definitely. I think in a lot of ways that was a, a bit of a stomp. Uh, I'm curious, Cassie, what did it feel like playing Saya into all these champions that were really trying to all in you all the time? So my champion basically counters all five of theirs. So it was pretty easy. I mean, I just have to auto attack and dodge skill shots and they cannot win the game. Sounds pretty straightforward to me. <laughs> yeah, it was incredibly straightforward for you. I mean, your composition makes a lot of sense. I, I don't know if there's a more iconic duo in the LEC right now than Eliola's Wukong with Nisky to Gragas. I think it was put during the, the cast on that one. Oh, hello. I've got been handed a new microphone. I don't think there's a more iconic duo than that Wukong and Gragas on Mad Lions. Like, it's just it's just textbook Mad Lions. I mean, for sure, Wukong on Eliola. I mean, Eliola. <laughs> Eliola on Wukong. It's pretty good. And then Niski is OTP Gragas, so we were pretty happy when we got it. And yeah, I mean, we basically got everything we wanted in this game. It's kind of, I don't know. It was pretty straightforward for, for us against Astralis because they usually play the same champions or like the same type of team comp where they have to dive in. And then we just built the perfect counter. So last week, Vi was banned literally all 15 games. How come you left it open for Astralis to take? I cannot disclose. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> you cannot disclose, but what was your reaction when the vibe was picked? Were you expecting it from Astralis? Yeah, everything that happened, we basically expected. You are expecting the Akali mid? I mean, it was an option. We expected the Kaiser Nautilus as well. And uh, we knew they are going to pick Vi if we leave it open. Were you expecting to have at least two champions for Static Shipville on them? Mm, yeah. I mean, I expected Kobe to play AP AD carry, but I don't expect Akali with Static Shiv. I think that this champ with Static is not so useful. What are you making of the Static Shiv kind of mini meta that we're seeing right now? Mm, I hate it because ever since this meta came, I lost like 400 LP in solo queue because I was playing uh, random champions everywhere with Static. So I hope it's going to go away soon. <laughs> Who have you been playing the Static on? Yeah. Who have you been playing on, though, the different champions? What does it work on? What does it not? I mean, it can work on anything. It just depends how creative you are. And you're very creative. Uh, I've seen your Twitter account. We know you're incredibly creative, Kazi. You had a fantastic laning phase in week one in particular, uh, but you're not getting that much resource from the jungle at the moment. Is this just you and, and Hilly against the world right now? I mean, we just have to play better with Hilly because Niski recently needs a little bit more help. So we have to uh, thank it for the team. Is he getting old? Why does he need a bit more help? I mean, the age, you know, like, tw he's 25, I think. It, it, Some... Is that why he plays Gragas every game? Because he can just sit and farm and... Yes, Gragas is pretty self-sufficient, okay. so it's yeah. perfect champion for him. I do think we need to we need to stop talking about age because I am a lot older than everyone on the show at the moment, and that is it's not making me feel that bad about myself. It's fine, no pressure. I'm just in the old woman's chair in the corner. Can we get a rocking chair for me for tomorrow, please, to complete the old woman look? Um, let's talk then just about the LEC in general because the fact is you're the only team that is 4-0 right now. You've come all guns blazing from MSI, obviously cleaned up your act immensely. But what about the other teams at the moment? Leader, des he described them in an interview with Trouble last week as disgusting. Who is the least dirty team on the standings aside from Mad Lions? Least dirty? Yeah, the least dirty. I I'd feel like I'm asking the expert right now in you, Kazi. I mean, it must be Fanatic, honestly, or G2. I think Fanatic and G2 are pretty good, both of them. What if you have to pick one of the bottom four teams? Um, yeah, now you're thinking. <laughs> now we need to count that. Okay, yeah. so I'd say the least disgusting team is SK Gaming, I think. Oh, why is that? I like them. <laughs> I'm just biased. <laughs> okay. Why do you like SK Gaming? Because that is Exa Kick. Oh, you've got an affinity with the, the French? Yeah, we, no, we have a thing going on with Exakick. I thought you had a thing going on with Humanoid. What's the thing going on with Exakick? There is no limitation, no? <laughs> I'm learning so much here. I don't think I want to learn about it. You are playing against Fnatic tomorrow, though. Yeah, I'm very excited to uh, meet my friend, Humanoid. Yeah, as, uh, tell me about your relationship with Humanoid. I mean, we've you been... You go way back. 
Sorry? You go way back. Okay, okay. So it all began in 2020 when I joined Medlands with him. Basically, I joined Medlands for him because I thought that he can be the best. And he also taught me a lot about league. And like, he basically, I think he made me a lot better player. And we created a very good relationship, I'd say. And now we spend a lot of time, usually. Like, we go dinners and stuff or something. I mean, we are like brothers. What kind of food are you going for? I need some recommendations for Berlin. Um, <laughs> I don't know the places. It's always him choosing. It's always him choosing. What kind of food? What did you have last time? Do you remember? And we had some current barbecue, but we usually go to like, uh, he likes fancy stuff, you know? So we have to go like a high-end restaurants. So he's satisfied. Well, we talk about high-end restaurants, though. I don't know what you guys consider high-end. I mean, I don't know. Once we had to book a restaurant one month in advance together. <laughs> that sounds pretty fancy, yeah. That's pretty fancy. I, I'm now getting flashbacks to everyone moaning about the food in London during MSI, and I still, I still haven't forgiven most of the players for that, or the LEC talent for that matter. We don't talk about it. It's, it's, it's too much of a bit of conversation. Um, I want to bring things back to last week while we've got you, Kazi. This is a question I asked of Elioya. It was related to the interview that Trouble did with Mac, um, where he said that he took each member of Mad Lions and had a one-on-one -on -one conversation about what you wanted to work on individually, what you wanted from the team. Can I ask about the conversation that you had? So me and Mac, I mean, I basically told him, I think, I don't even remember what I told him, but it was probably that I want to... <laughs> achieve great things with the team. That's not something to be giggling about. That sounds very respectable. It's surprisingly respectable for you, Kazi. Why are you giggling? I mean, I really don't remember what I said. Usually I say something, then I forget. I might uh, have... So, so if you had to decide right now, like, what is, what is the one thing you want to achieve these next weeks? I mean, I'd like to keep on winning since it makes me happy to win together as a team with uh, all my teammates. I like to see them happy. And... Uh, we might have rough scrims sometimes, or all the times. <laughs> but we are still winning on stage and we are performing a lot better. So when we win even with this practice, it makes me a lot happier than just winning if we had good scrims, because that is like a paranormal activity, you know? We are literally the only team that doesn't win any scrims. Is there something like in-game that you're working on, or you and Huli are working on as a duo, to like improve and continue winning? Oh, with Huli? Yeah, like, oh. for example, when I played with Huli, um, I know he was really crazy. He still is kind of crazy. Sometimes you, an issue could be that you're laning bots and all of a sudden he just flashes forward out of nowhere and the AD carry has to follow. Like, you know, what do you think your synergy with him is like? And is there anything that you guys are working on to, like, get even better as a duo? I mean, we practice 2v2s and we usually review all the bot lane matchups. Or when we are struggling, we usually sit down and we review the bot lane matchup. After most of the games, we are reviewing like what we have done wrong in the early laning. That's what we talk and focus on the most. And yeah, we play 2v2s. And also, we, I think we have a pretty good relationship together, which helps a lot. How have you been working on the relationship within the team? Who's the hype person that helps when, when things do get a bit stressful? Mm, I mean, it's definitely Mac and Pat. They are uh, usually, when we are depressed or like sad, they come and we have a talk or we do something else than scrims and it improves the team morale overall. They're the real MVPs of Mad Lions. I, I want to ask about you motivating people though, Kazi, because it might not be you that's the hype man for the team, but you do seem to be the hype man for the LEC. And I see that smile in your face. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Because last week you left motivational posters and quotes around the studio for the other teams to experience. Uh, tell us about that. So those are my tweets from the past. Those are just like picked tweets from my from the from the past and made into posters or like motivational quotes. Was this all your idea? Yeah. No, I mean this wasn't my idea. This was the <laughs> the tweets are my idea, but the motivational posters are not my idea. Wish the people in the bus could vibe with me to my fave music. What's the fave music at the moment? It's probably K-pop. Oh, okay. I'm um, I. I'm not very good at being a K-pop stan. I like Blackpink, and I know who Twice are. Brox, are you a K-pop man? 
I think that's about all the the K-pop knowledge I have as well. I think we're on, we're on the same page mostly. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, who should we be listening to before we look at the schedule? Momo, Give us some recommendations. Momoland. 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 Can you oh, sing? Itzy. Can you sing me some Momoland? Only one sentence because we don't have the rights to to a whole song. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember the lyrics. <laughs> one day, one day we'll do we'll do karaoke. I know BDS. They're also fans of karaoke as we saw last week. Now let's take a look at tomorrow's schedule because Koi versus Team Heretics. That's going to be our match of the week. It is a Spanish derby, and, and both. It's fair to say are struggling at the moment, Proxy. Yeah, it's been a difficult time so far for, for both teams, really. Although I have to say, Heretics have surprised us a lot coming into it. Difficult game for them today versus Excel, but ultimately this is a matchup that could easily go either way, and I'm really excited to see how it plays out. Cassie, if you have to look at the two bot lanes from these teams, which one, you know, do you think is the best at the moment? Koi, Heretics? I mean, I think that Flaket and Mersa are playing really well right now, so I'd say that Heretics are going to have the upper hand. Okay. Um, what about for yourselves? Obviously facing off against Humanoid, we know that Noah is friends with Chasey as well. There's going to be some hair ruffling going on according to Noah's interview that we saw earlier today. Uh, how do you, you think that match is going to be? Do you think it's going to be one-sided like your other games? I think it's going to be way more difficult than any of our previous games, but I think we are going to win. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun for the people to watch. And uh, how aggressive do you think that 2v2 matchup is going to be? I, f I think it's going to be really aggressive. Someone is going to die 2v2 for sure. Mm, I, I think they're <laughs> going to die a few times. I just don't know who's going to be doing the dying. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, that does it... Uh for now, for us on the LEC. Don't worry, we've got two more days of action. In fact, if you missed any of today so far, the rebroadcast of today's game starts in just a few minutes on Twitch, so stand by. We are going to be live tomorrow with ReadyCheck at 5.45 p.m. So we will see you guys then. Uh, but before I can say goodnight to you guys, we've got to take the post game selfie. So yeah, goodnight to you guys, just in case I forget like I did last week. I'll put my microphone down. That's enough from me. <laughs> Very ready. Okay. Let's do it. What's our motivation? Okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. It's the bad boys, bad boys. It's the what bad you boys, do? bad boys. What you gonna do when we come for? It's the bad boys, bad boys. The side going forward, and Ralph's trying to get damage to the back end. Should be the next. Will Crowny get it? Will Crowny get it? That's an all out over the wall. Here comes Crowny for 600 kills in the Bad boys, bad boys. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, sh oh, my <laughs> God. You're freaking out. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. So it's actually still available for him. Caught, pulled backwards. Oh, no. Looking for the solo kill. The ruthless brain, the color leak does so much work. 300 hit points to 150. Heavy's hiding in the fog. Oh, it's a bad boys. Boys. Gonna get punched like when he's invincible because again, I think it's what? 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 Trying to interrupt, trying to stop the decimating smash. Oh, the killer is back! Oh, yeah. Knocked up! Bad boys, bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. Bad boys.